the backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. They're all good. Good. Okay. The navigational hub has been completely destroyed. We don't have enough life support to make it back to Earth, but I think we can scratch our way to Edmund's planet. Well, what about fuel? Not enough. But I have a plan. We let Gargantua pull us down close to the horizon, then a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna take us just inside the critical orbit. What about the time slippage? Well, neither one of us have time to worry about relativity right now, Dr. Brand. Sorry, Cooper. Once we've gathered enough speed around Gargantua, we use Lander 1 and Ranger 2 as rocket boosters to push us out of the black holes of gravity. Lander's linkages have been destroyed, so we'll have to control manually. Once Lander 1 is spent, TARS will detach and get sucked right into that black hole. Why does TARS have to detach? Oh, well, we have to shed the weight to escape the gravity. Newton's third law. The only way humans have ever figured out of getting somewhere is to leave something behind. Cooper, you can't ask TARS to do this for us. He's a robot, so you don't have to ask him to do anything. Cooper, you asshole. Sorry, you broke up a little bit there. It's what we intended, Dr. Brent. It's our only chance to save people on Earth. If I can find a way to transmit the quantum data I'll find in there, they might still make it. Let's just hope there's still someone there to save. Goodbye, Dr. Brent. See you on the other side, Coop. See you there, Slick! Okay, Case. Nice reckless flying. Learn from the Master. Ranger 2, prepare to detach. What? No! No! Cooper! Three. Cooper, what are you doing? Newton's third law. They gotta leave something behind. You told me we had enough resources for both of us. We agree to that. Ninety percent. Detach. 